Hey YouTube, um, I saw a few users doing this online in their videos and it looked kind of cool. Like, if you have an XP machine, um, I'm not talking to Vista users right now, but you can still watch this video. Um, you're st you want to make your XP machine look like Vista. I know they got themes like Crystal, whatever, and all the different stuff. They're just themes, okay? That might change the icons. Yeah, you'll probably need one of those. But what I'm talking about is getting the little orb right here, col coloring this black, and making it have the start menu with the search bar. Alright, um... I will give you the annotations on this video in a second, but the first website you want to go to is leesoft.com, L-E-E hyphen soft.com, and as soon as you get there, um, you want to click the first download link, and save it, it's going to be called VI Start, and just give it a second, alright. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> it's 7 zip. Extract here. Alright. Now, this, you just want to click on it when you extract it. Alright. Might take you through the setup process. I don't know. Now, um, this might, um, be a couple minutes, maybe. Oh, look at that. Pretty sleek. Look, now, type R U N, or, yeah, it's already right there, so. Window. Let's see, that's all my window stuff. Yeah, but um, there's some good stuff and there's some bad stuff about this. Like, uh. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Give me a second here. Mm, sorry about that. Just signed out. Alright. There's some really cool stuff you can do this. Like, it has all the options you'd have on a regular thing. See, look how this bar changes when I click on something. You saw that one up there. Right. Um, there will be a second download. You stay on Leesoft and go to Vi Orb. Alright. Go to Vi Orb and hit download now. And save it. And it's a really quick one, so... You have a slow computer. Like mine is really fast. Just my provider doesn't like to um, take very good care of it. Uh, TDS.net. If you want to check them out, file a complaint. And I guess it'd really help me out. All right. Yeah, after that, you want to extract the files. I use 7-Zip. You can search Google with it. Um. Alright. Open up Vi Orb and do click it. See, now I have the little orb. It's pretty professional, except one thing. This is still blue. It kinda sucks that it's still blue. Alright. Third program we're gonna need is called um Zune theme. It, it, it's just a basic little theme from Microsoft. If you search um Zune desktop theme on Google you will find it. The first link it'll take you to the download. You wanna click run.
click run. Alright. Preparing to install. I'll walk you through the little setup process. I've already got it. I'll just hit repair. Alright. Well, it didn't work online. But I've already got this theme. So, I've already downloaded it. Okay. Now, to edit this, you want to go to your properties easily by going here. Or you could do it the hard way and go into your control panel and go under display and settings and get the same box. But if you do it here, it's faster. Alright, let's go back to it. You want to go under themes. Go under zoom. It should look black. Click apply. Give it a second. It'll come up with this stupid background. I don't. I don't really care for it. You can change it, but look, it looks all professional, like Vista. That's pretty tight. All right. Now there are a couple downsides to this. I mean, look, you'll have these running all the time in your quick bar, but you can change that by. Hovering over your menu, not this or this, just somewhere blank. Click properties and go to customize. And the two that are showing, you want to hit always, I mean, always hide. Click OK and apply. And now they're hidden. Cool little trick, I guess. Um, but they'll still be here. They just won't show up here. That's kind of retarded. Um, the also downside when you start your computer, it'll have it won't have the Vite Orb or this menu running. It'll have your old one, but the black theme will still be here. Now to change this, you need. To get both of the files that say like the one steps on them. Alright. Are you watching? Alright. This is kind of important. If you want to have it started up all the time. You want to go to start. Find your startup folder. And this does work very well. We want to drop these in here. All right, and then you exit out, and there you go. All right, if you found this um, video useful, um, please comment it on YouTube. Um, and thanks for watching.